So here is my Canva design that I created for the puzzle. Now, the first thing you're gonna to wanna to do is you're gonna to wanna to measure your puzzle. And then when you set up your, um, I have Canva Pro, you're gonna to wanna to start with a custom size. And so you can change this to inches, but I already have mine set up. Um, it's about five and a quarter by seven and a half inches. So I went five and a half by 7.75 so that I could get um, a little bit of an overlap on my uh, puzzle because I wanted it to overlap. Then I went the wrong way on this as well. So um, you wanna make sure that when you're doing this that you um, go the other way. Let's see here. So it would be 5.5 and 7.75 inches so that it's going the way that I want it. But this isn't the where we're going to start. So where we're going to start here is I went into my Creative Fabrica. I have the All Access and I'll have a link below for the All Access. Um, it's a very good deal and there are so many images. So I downloaded this set of clip art here and I really like this one down here. And there were some other ones that I uploaded as well. And so I'm going to go back to my Canva here now. And I am going to go to home so that I can find the one we're working on here. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to add a page and we're going to, I'm going to show you how to do this, how I put this together, because absolutely this is different than what I uploaded. So let's start with a new page here and we'll go to my uploads and I can't remember which one. I think it's this one. So let's bring this in first. And so what I'm going to do is I'm going to make this bigger. And the first thing I did when I came in was I didn't like this cross thingy here. I didn't like these little crosses in here. I didn't like how this bread looked, and I don't like uh, the crucifix above the chalice here. So the first thing I did is I went to edit image, and I went in, I have the Canva Pro, and so I am able to use the magic eraser. So I went in, and the first thing I did is I went and I started to remove a few of these things that I didn't like. And some of them you can't remove. I'll show you here if it works here. So I'm going to hit erase and you'll see what I'm talking about here in a second. So um, let's go back to our page here now. And if you zoom in, I'll make it bigger. Oh, I did erase most of it that time. When I was working on it the first time, some parts didn't erase all the way. So let's go to edit here. And again, magic eraser. Because I see something in here. And there might be something in here too. So I'm just going to hit erase here. And then I'll show you what I started to do as I added other images to this. So let's go back. I think I erased this too, maybe even get rid of this part as well. Go back on that. See if I can get that a little bit closer without hitting the chalice there. You can make your, your brush smaller here too. See how that changes the size of the brush. And so now I will erase this and go back in. And then I'll show you a couple things that I did here to change this up a bit because I, I didn't really like this design, but there were parts of it that I really like. So now let's go back to our design and I'll make this smaller so that you can see it here. So there it's starting to look like that. I'm gonna make this smaller now because I want that about the same size as what we have up here. So even a little bit smaller here get it centered there. So that looks pretty close to what we have up there. So now I'm going to start adding some of these other images. So I had that sheep and that cross. I wonder what I did with that. Let's be down here further. See if I can find it here, right here. There he is. I uploaded this from Creative Fabrica as well. See, I got two of them in there. And so, um, oops, I'm on the wrong one, that's why. Here we go. And so what I did is um, 
I wanted to cover up some of the things in the design. So that looks about in the right spot there. Maybe make it a little bit smaller. Get it right up in there. And what else did I add? I added some grapes and those. So let's see if I can find those as well. Um, those were, mm, I'm not sure if I uploaded those. They might have been elements from here. So, oh yeah, here they are. Yep. Let's use these grapes. Look like the same one. So let's pull that down here into this one, shrink it down. And then of course I turned it so it would look better. See, it got a little too big there yet. Whoops. Turn it a little bit. This is, I don't, this might not be the exact grapes that I used, but pretty close. And then the wafers here, communion. Let's see if I can find that. Oops. It's first communion season, so um, this was something that uh, people had asked for. So let's find the one I used. Ah, I don't know which one I used, but we'll just use this one here, and I'll just lay a couple in there. I um, didn't like what this bread looked like here, and so I just changed it. Whoops, don't want to do that. Just changed it a little bit here, and let's see. Oh, let's just add these. So I'll get rid of this one. It'll be pretty close to what we had. Get that in there, cover that bread up. But yet you can still see the wheat there, which I like. I'll make that bigger so that you can see the wheat behind it. I assume someone made this image. It was an AI image. So I just wanted to tweak it a little bit to make it more of what I wanted. Let's get rid of this. Somehow that got in there. What else do I have in here? Oh, these flowers back there. But I don't know that we need them. But we'll see. We might need them. The reason for that is those crosses didn't come off completely. So now let's go to elements here. And I am going to look for backgrounds. Because I think um, that is what I did for the background up here. So let's look for backgrounds just plain background is all I want graphics okay might have used this one looks like it's about right I'm gonna make this smaller so that we can see it stretch it out here stretch it all the way to the side that looks about right so now what you do is you go to position here and you send it backwards get it to the back so that you can see. Now let's zoom in. And like this is a spot right there. Um, so maybe I'll look for some flowers here to cover that. But otherwise you see how easy it is to change this to your own design. You know, you can change it up really easily to your own design. So now let's add the text box here. Um, uh, uh, what I was going to show you as well is you can change the color of like these grapes here. Just click on the grapes and then you could change the color here. You know, watch the color change of those grapes as I hit this. So you could do this as well. I'll leave it at that just so you can see the difference there. And then let's go up here. What did I use for a font? Barbie. Okay. So then text box. Barbie is also one that I have uploaded to Canva from Creative Fabrica, this font. So I'll link a video below for, um, for installing fonts, both in Canva and on your computer. So I'm going to hit add a text box here. And I'm going to drag that. Whoop, I'm going to get on this one here down scroll down here and add a text box and now what I'm going to write is my first holy communion I'll make this bigger so that we can see you can do anything you want with wording on this my first holy woo, holly holy communion and now I used Barbie, so I'm going to go here and I'm going to look for Barbie right here, Barbie regular, and there it is. So now I'm going to move this up 
here and I am going to go to effects and I'm going to add a border, but I'm going to add a border that is going to match our print a little bit better. You can choose any color that you want here and you can go into the color um, as well and uh, go into color palette and change it to any color that you want by going here. So you could change that to anything that you want. But I'm going to go back to what we had. Go back, 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 back. There we go. So, and now I'll make it a little thicker. And I'm going to scroll down here and you can see the arch. And then if you scroll below that, you can change the curve on that. And then you can move it up. And you can do the same thing now. Um, I'll zoom in so you can see how cute this font is. It's got little hearts on the eyes. And uh, similar to what I have up here. So I'll stretch it out, make it bigger. Let's see, go up. And, you know, you can place it however you want. You can see the um, center lines there with the magenta so that you can get it centered good on your design. And then um, this one is farmhouse pumpkin. So I'll add another text box now. And... Uh, it always wants to drop it up there on me. Back that up and I will get it down here at a text box. There we go. And I will write Sunday, May 4th, 2025, and then put a name under there, Gary. Whoops. Yeah, I'm just having the worst luck today. I'm sorry about that. Got some kind of a little box going in there. Um, go stretch this out so you can see it. So here we go, and I'm gonna change it. Oh, it did come up in Farmhouse Pumpkin. So that's good, but I'm gonna make this a lot smaller because I don't want it that big. And I will put the name under it, Geary. And then if you go up here where this arrow is going up and down, you can move your line spacing closer together. So that's what I want there. And then I'm gonna go to Effects. And I'm going to use an outline again, but this time I might use a white outline so that you can see how that changes. So hopefully this helps. Now what I would do is I would download this. You go to share and download. I'd raise my DPI up because I have the pro transparent background. We just want the second page here. So and then you just hit download and it will download your image and then it's ready for you to print. So I print from Word. So you just add this document to a Word document and then you print it because it's going to come in at this exact size. I will run through that quickly here with you. I'll pull up a Word document and I'll go to layout options and I'll change it to landscape and I have some pre-selected margins to zero. So let's insert our picture here, insert picture from this device and it's in my downloads. I'm gonna click on downloads here and it's not done downloading yet. So let's go, oh, there it is. All right, so bring it in. And as you can see up here under picture format, it came in at 5.35 by 7.75. I guess I made it a little bigger. And I am going to do wrap and through so that I can move it around on the page. And that is the exact size for the puzzle. So I hope this helped. And uh, please leave me a comment, like my video and subscribe to my channel. Thank you for taking the time to watch my video. Please like my video, subscribe to my channel, see links below and leave me a comment.